You know, when it comes to Christmas, you don't have to buy everything. This morning, we've got some do-it-yourself ideas, kind of creative and very easy to do. Shannon Smith is live at Lowe's Home Improvement in Greensboro with some more ideas, right, Shannon? That's right, Brad. And you know, here in Greensboro and really all over the Piedmont Triad, everybody's gotten crazy over these Christmas balls, the lighted ones that hang from the trees. And they really look pretty when they're hanging up at night. So Linda Dozier put her on her gloves and she's going to show us how to make it. You need some chicken wire and some lights. That's correct. And we sell the rolls of chicken wire here okay. at Lowe's. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the one inch okay. hole because there's one inch and then there's two inch. Two inches, the, it's just too big. Okay. You're going to cut about four feet. And the first step is put your gloves on. You've right. got to wear gloves or this will tear your hands up. You're going to mold it into a cylinder first. Okay. And you just bend it down and get your cylinder. So Once bend you, those pieces all into Exactly. Yep. Get your cylinder. And then after you get your cylinder, the next step is going to be crimping the ends. Okay. And one of the things that it says in the in the site is don't get tempted to just bend it here and bend it here because it won't it won't look right. What you need to do is just kind of work your way around. Kind of have to be patient here. Exactly. And and just work your way around and then you kind of fold it in all the way around. And then you can, after you get it all the way in, then you can kind of pull it out and kind of shape it more into a ball. After you get your ball the way that you're happy with, then you're gonna take your lights and the first one, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna fish through here cause you don't want it to fall out once you hang it up in the tree because it's gonna be hanging you know, up in your tree, or mm -hmm. I even bought some shepherd hooks and put some in the front of my house on shepherd hooks. Which is a little easier than trying to toss exactly. those things up into the tree. But if you, you leave, leave enough so that you can plug it in and then you just start wrapping the lights all the way around your ball. And anywhere there's not lights, that's where you're gonna wrap it. Okay. Then your second strand so that it's good and bright, you're again, when you get to the end, take this plug and put it in the middle and plug it inside so then that way it won't come undone once it's up in the tree because that would be weird having half of your ball lit and half it not. Exactly. And, and then all I did is I made a little hook so then it could hang from the shepherd's yeah. hook. I just pulled up some of the wire or you can just fish the branches through or you can make a wire hanger to hang it up in the trees however you want to secure it up in your tree. And then at night, you can't even tell that the wire is there. It just looks like these lights are just kind of glowing out in the middle of nowhere. They look so pretty. Linda, thanks for showing us how to make them. You know, Brad, there's so many neighborhoods, especially right outside of downtown Greensboro, where there are just hundreds of these hanging in the trees, and they look gorgeous. So there you go if you want to make one for your house, too. You, you know what's even more beautiful, though? Getting them up, up, up in the tree. <laughs> no, but you gotta, gotta, you know, fling the thing up there, get the... Slingshot yeah, no, Neil and Cindy have shown us in the Fox 8 Family of Christmas before how to throw them up into the trees. I think that would be so challenging, but fun. That's what you have kids for. They, you know, they'll spend all yeah, day exactly. out there trying to get them up there. Shannon, thanks very much. More of that coming up 